What's up, y'all? And uh, how are y'all doing today? Yo, hopefully everybody is uh, everybody's doing good. And uh, yeah, well, um, I'm testing my microphones. Um, I'm working with the uh, with the shotgun mic. At this point, I do have two sets of wireless mics, but uh, first I want to st uh, start with the shotgun uh, microphone and see how good or bad it is uh, before, you know, deciding. Well, I'm going to test those uh, mics also. I'm going to test my uh, wireless mics, like, I'm going to test those. This is just one of them. Uh, I got another set of uh, wireless mics, but today, like I'm, I'm on a, like today, I just want to uh, work with the Rode uh, shotgun uh, mic. Uh, these, uh, the Rodes are good microphones anyway. Like uh, they actually do make some good, uh, pretty good microphones. And I know the sound is is, is pretty good, cause uh, I remember uh, doing a couple of video like a couple of videos, uh, which I did not uh, use uh, mics. I uh, actually use uh, the internal uh, microphones uh, that comes inside of uh, the camera, and uh, I mean it's okay. The the mic is all right. It's not. It's not a bad, really, really bad mic, but it's like you need to uh, speak a little louder uh, for you know for it to pick up. So uh, I'm now I'm like testing the Rode uh, shotgun uh, mic, and I know it's picking up good sound. I'm going to check it uh, when I'm done after like I'm done recording. I will uh, check it, and I will, I will, I should be able to tell if it's a good or bad uh, microphone. But uh, for now, that's what I'm doing. I'm, I'm testing um, all of my, all of my microphones. Uh, like I said, man, uh, I'm gonna need your help. You know, I'm doing. I'm doing all the little, all the little things. Like I'm doing all the little. Things. I'm getting, I'm getting all the basics. You know, I'm getting all the basics. I'm gonna need your help. Um, I even got this camera. You know, this camera is not a cheap camera. It's not cheap. It's not a cheap camera. Like it's, it's a expensive camera. And I bought it for you guys uh, uh, because I want you to. Um, I want to to have a good feel of all the pictures and images that I will be throwing your way you know so I went on and uh, bought uh, this camera and bought some good uh, microphones uh, I know how important uh, the sound uh, can be I'm also going to be making skits I told you guys that I will be making skits, uh, but I will be using the locals, and they will be talking in, in I think French, and some of the local languages too. I'm not a hundred percent sure, but that's how it's going to be. Uh, it's going to be their show. It's not going to be my show. It's just I'm going to set it up. I'm going to manage the show, but. I'm not going to be in it. I'm not going to be in it. Uh, all I'm going to do is set it up. I'm going to manage the show. Like I'm going to manage the show. I'm going to set it up. I will write most of the, you know, most of the script. I will definitely write uh, most of the script because I know uh, what can sell. I mean, I've been in this country for like 10, 11 years. You know, I know, like, I took my time to study, uh, to study the folks out here. Uh, I sort of kind of know what they like and what they don't like. And I'm going to go by, 
I'm going to go by that, you know. So, I've been here for a minute. Like, I really, I've been here for, I'm going on like 11, 11 years. So, I will be writing the script. I will be writing the script. It's going to be comedy. It's going to be comedy. Nothing, maybe a little bit of, not, no, no, no drama. No drama. It's, it's simple. It's going to be comedy. Just to make people laugh. You know. Uh, like I said, I'm going to be writing all the scripts. Uh, because, like, like I said, I've been, like I've been here for a minute. And I sort of kind of know what can sell, like what sells in this country. And also, like the French uh, speaking um, sphere, like uh, Burkina Faso, Cote d'Ivoire, like those countries, Senegal, those countries also are going to be my audience when, I st when the show is ran. So, I'll be, I, 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 won't, I won't say be on the lookout for it because you may not even understand it. So, but that's something I'm going to do uh, for some residual income, you know. Uh, I'm going to do that for some uh, residual income. Um, I need, like, I'm going to need a lot of money. I'm, I told you, my farm, I'm starting to build my farm in October. October, November, I'm starting to build my farm. And I need all the money I can get to build it before getting residual from the farm. You know, before everything grows into the farm, I'm going to have to pluck in a lot of money before getting uh, my return. And when I, when, you know, when the return comes, uh, when I start getting my return, then I will be able to do a lot more. But in the meantime, I need to do everything I can to bring in a money. And I'm also going to need your help. Like, I'm going to need your help big time to bring in uh, money, you know. Like I said, I'm going to do a lot. I'm going to do a lot to bring in money, but I'm also going to need your help. Uh, uh, for just to get uh, just to get started, you know, and I count on you. Like I, I, I need you to help me. Like don't leave me hanging. Don't leave me hanging. I mean, if you can loan me the money, whatever, and I and and you and I could pay you back maybe after a year or two. You know, I need you to help me. Like once you start, once you get started building a farm, you don't stop. Once you like, once you put the first stone into building, you cannot stop. Because the minute you turn around, somebody's going to mess up. All that work, all the money that you will put in will go in vain. Once you start, well, like once you put the first block in, like once the first stones goes in, like this is my farm, I'm starting it. You can't stop. You got to keep going. And I need your help. If you if you want me to get this thing started in October of this year, I'm going to need your help. Else, I would have to throw it for next October. Actually, October 2024. So if I miss this October, I would have to wait until October 2024. Because starting a farm is not like playing a, a basketball game like you can you can't quit you can't stop in the middle of building your farm you can't do that because the minute you stop that's it it's over you got to start over again a farm is not like a I mean a house you could build stop take a break and go back and build like when I was building this house this house right here this house that you're seeing when I was building it I could take a break. I could take a break. You know, I had one bad roof on this house and I had to switch it. I had to get a new roof. You could do that when you are building a house. You can't do it when you are farming. Because all the money you will put in to plant crap, to grow crap, 
The minute you stop, you're going to lose all that crap. Like all the thing that you're going to put in, all your seed, all that stuff is going to be, this is going to, it's just going to disappear. You cannot stop. Once you start farming, you can't stop. You got to do the upkeep all the time. You got to clear. You got to clear the land. You got to do a lot of things. So, so much you got to do. And you have to work every day. Once you start farming, it's every day. You don't stop anymore. Like, I have not started farming. I have not started farming. Before coming into YouTube, I was just living solo. I was just living solo. That was me. But then, I started watching uh, the Black Acres of the Gambia. They inspired me to come online. And when I came online, one thing that I know for sure that I can do out here is farming. I know I could farm out here, and that's what I want to do. I went to America for eight months. I worked. Y'all seen me. Y'all seen me busy. Like, I wasn't, I wasn't coming online. Like, I wasn't talking to y'all for, for eight months. I was busy. I was working. I was buying tools that I need to get my, to start working on my farm. That's what I did. I did that for, like, eight months. I woke up in the morning, got out, worked, came back, ate, showered, and slept. I worked sometime. I had to work, you know, seven days a week. So I, I went on, bought a lot of tools. I got a lot of tools. All the tools that I need, I here. Some are in this house. Some are in a storage compartment somewhere. I bought in a lot of things. I got three, I mean, I got four tillers. Four tillers. I don't have money to buy a tractor. So the best thing that, that I mean, the best for me to do or the best for me to get was a, a tiller. It was a couple of tillers. And I got four tillers. And I have seeds, uh, 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 planters. I, I mean, I have all kinds of stuff. Weed workers. Like, I have a bunch of things that are going to help me get started. And like I said, when I start, I can't stop. So I'm going to need your help. My family is not going to help me do this. My family thinks I'm crazy. All the folks in my family thinks I'm crazy. They think I lost my mind. They think I don't know what I'm doing. They think somebody like played a juju on me or something. I could only count on you and me also. Like I'm not saying that I'm not going to. I'm also, I, I got to count on me. But I can't do it all by myself. I can't. When I'm back there, when I go back in America next month, I only got four months. It's in four months, I got to come up with $40,000. And I can't do it. I, can't, I could come up with half. And I want y'all to help me with, with half of it, too. If you want, like, if you want to help me, and you, if you want to loan me the money so I could pay you back, we could do that. We could work that out. But I need your help, because a farm, once you start a farm, you can't stop. Once the first seeds are laid, you cannot stop. You got to keep the upkeep, that you got to clear, you got to clean, you got to do all of that every day. Every day you have to make sure that your crops is, is growing like it's supposed to be. There got to be people on land watching your, your crop, watching your food grow. You can't turn your back. Like, I'm not going to come here in October, you know, start the farm. Then I got to fly back to America. If I do that, I'm losing everything, every single investment that I would put in in October. If I'm going to work in October, from October, I don't know when, when I'm, if I run out of money and I got to fly back to America, I'm losing all that investment. I'm losing it. I would come back and start a new so I'm gonna need your help like I said I don't have my family don't believe in me like my family don't tr don't don't even know what I'm doing they, they don't know what I'm doing they don't they, they, they laugh they laugh at me all the time they laugh at me talking about I'm like I'm crazy and all that stuff they laugh at me all the time so I don't have any help with my fam 
That's why I'm always going back. Like that's why I had to go back to America, work and and raise the money on my own, cause I don't have a family. And that's also the reason why I didn't want to do GoFundMe to start a farm. I didn't want to do that, cause ever since I was young, I've always known that if I'm going to get something done, I got to do it on my own. I've always been. I've always I've learned from a young age that I gotta learn like I gotta do things on my own. Nobody's gonna help me. I've always learned that. That's why I had to run up to America, work, get a job, work, raise the money so I could start my farm. But I could only do so much, and I'm gonna need your help. You know, I'm gonna need your help to get the last laugh. From all them folks that are laughing at me, all my cousins, all my friends that are laughing, I'm gonna need your help. Like I'm gonna need your help to to get the last laugh, cause I know what could come with farming. I know the benefits of farming. You know, first you're gonna sweat. You gotta you gotta be patient. When come when it comes to farming, you got to be patient. But when that money start coming, it's gonna come a lot, and it would. It, it, once it start coming, it doesn't stop. It just keep coming, and it just keep growing and growing and growing and growing. So I'm gonna need your help. Don't let me hanging. Anyway, y'all, like, share, subscribe, and share this, and I will speak to you on the next video. I hope this camera is. I mean, I hope the mic is picking up all the sound. And uh, let me go ahead and check and see if it's good. Peace out and I'll talk to you soon.